All right, uh, talking about immigration, DeSantis uh, talked today about immigration, or, or yesterday, but, but uh, uh, so uh, DeSantis has basically adopted um, through and through uh, the entire playbook of Trump's immigration policies. Uh, the only difference between him and Trump is that he will get it done, he tells us, he promises us. So uh, Ann Coulter will be happy. Ann Coulter was very upset with Trump because Trump didn't get it done. Uh, what, what DeSantis is promising is he will get it done. He will end birthright citizenship, which I think is a disgrace. He will finish building the Southern Wall. A wall. John Lewis, John, John David Lewis, who was a great objectivist and writer, intellectual, who wrote about foreign policy, who wrote about history, um, talked, wrote an essay about how when you build a wall, it's a sign that you're an empire in decline. Building walls is the beginning of the end. And, and he dates that back to ancient times. And, and he shows that, you know, real confident, real confident countries, countries that are bold and confident, don't build walls, don't feel the need uh, to have uh, walls. Um, Let's see. So birthright citizenship. He's going to finish the wall. He's going to send U.S. forces, the military, into Mexico to combat drug cartels. I guess he got this from, uh, uh, from uh, what's his name? By the way, uh, just, just be, not because Ken actually cares, because he's just, he's just, an, you know, just a and dishonest troll. But uh, I'm against walls in Israel. Tear down the walls in Israel. Absolutely, Israel should not have walls. Uh, it doesn't need them. Uh, it, it, it needs to actually win its wars, uh, not build walls. The, the walls in Israel, the fences in Israel, are all signs of defeat. They're all signs of weakness, and I, I've been against them from day one. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, turn people away, all, all the Trump policies. Uh, but so, so basically what, what uh, DeSantis' campaign is, is it's a campaign basically to um, uh, to basically say I'm competent, Trump was not. Now he's right that Trump was not competent, um, but he's basically taking every policy issue from Trump and adopting it, and then he's mixing in a little Vivek Ramaswamy, you know, let's go to war with Mexico over the cartels to kind of get it all, uh, get a, get, you know, really get the people roused up. Problem for DeSantis is nobody seems to be excited. Nobody seems to get excited by his campaign. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Still early. A lot of things can change. But uh, so far, Trump seems to be running away with this. And, and, and just nobody, there just seems no excitement. He, he seems to be pissing off more people than uh, anybody than anybody else, uh, right? Um, yeah. Um, let's see. I never said walls in Israel are just fine. I said you can't compare Israel to the United States because Israel actually faces a threat. Israel actually people coming over and blow themselves up. But the wall is not the solution. I've never said building fences in Israel is a solution for anything. I've never, I've never advocated for building walls or fences uh, in Israel with the West Bank. Never. And I think I've always said it's a sign of weakness. It's a sign of Israel not being able to deal with the problem. But they, but, and here I'm going to get angry a little bit. But they, the constant attempt to compare Israel to the United States is so frigging dishonest. It's so, um, it, it, you know, it's, it's so wrong. It's so evasive. It's so ignoring reality that it just doesn't deserve, you know, doesn't deserve... Uh, well, it deserves me getting angry, I guess. Uh, but it's just pathetic. It's just pathetic. Because Mexicans have not been blowing up places in the United States. Uh, there are no suicide bombers coming across. There are no suicide bombs coming in from Mexico. Um, I mean, the comparison is just bizarre. Just bizarre and outrageous. And, you know, it's... But it, this is what people do. When they don't have an argument, they don't have a good argument, they don't actually say why 
they want to block immigration on the southern border. They don't want to reveal their true motives. So they make stuff up. Yeah, how many 9-11s were created because people came in uh, through the Mexican border illegally? All the 9-11 terrorists were, were here illegally. Um, and how many, how many terrorist attacks have been committed in the United States by illegal immigrants? Terrorist attacks, Muslims, none. And I'm, I'm not for not screening for uh, terrorists and I've even been favorable for banning, uh, banning immigration for certain countries as a consequence of 9-11. I, I mean, all of this, given what I've said about it, is just dishonest. It's just dishonest. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.